hello everyone how are you welcome to another question and answer session here this is the question which of the following statements relating to the greater momentum is false so first of all we have to uh, know about uh, the greater momentum then the information regarding greater momentum then it will be very easy for us to find out the false option regarding greater momentum here the options options are it is less well developed in children under five it has no relationship to the laser sac it contains the gastroepiploic arteries has an attachment to the transverse colon it may be site of metastatic disease in ovarian cancer so first of all let's see the greater momentum here this yellowish structure we can see it attached at the greater curvature of the stomach then it descends down and it also attached to the transverse colon here here we can see this is transverse colon and the greater momentum it lies anterior to the transverse colon and here we also can see this is the laser momentum and stomach here this is the liver gallbladder and the other parts of the small and large colon such as here this is cecum appendix ascending colon transverse colon descending colon sigmoid colon then rectum and anal canal so these are the laser and greater momentum and the other structure which relates to the greater and laser momentum so here we can see the greater momentum it uh, attaches to the greater curvature of the stomach then it attaches to the transverse colon then it is free into the peritoneal cavity in this picture in this uh, first of all in this first picture here we can see this is the greater momentum from here up to here it attaches to the uh, it attaches from the stomach to the transverse colon and here we can see the arteries which is located within this greater momentum and these arteries are gastroepiploic artery here this is the right gastroepiploic artery which is branched from the gastroduodenal artery on the other hand here this is the left gastroepiploic artery arising from the splenic artery and in the third picture here we can see there is in the one number one here this is the site for ovarian cancer so from the ovarian cancer metastatic uh, uh, deposit is it spreads different part of the body here here we can see here it is the large intestine here the small intestine and the omentum and mesentery here the greater omentum also it also deposits in the greater omentum and here uh, upper surface of the liver and liver also so the metastatic uh, from the ovarian cancer it may deposit anywhere in the abdominal cavity and also in the thorax or in the breast sometimes the ovarian uh, tumor may spread up to the breast and that time it is called Kuchenberg tumor and here we finally we can see this is the laser momentum and here this is the greater momentum and we can see there is a communication between the greater and laser sac and this communication is called epiploic foramen or foramen of wings law so there is a communication between the laser momentum or laser sac and greater sac so our final answer there has it has no relationship to the laser sacs it is not true because the greater momentum it has communication with the laser sac via the epiboloic foramen or foramen of wings law and other options such as it less will develop in children under five it is true it contains gastroepiploic arteries it is also true has an attachment to the transverse colon it is also true it may be seated metastatic disease in ovarian cancer it's also true so in case of greater momentum it is not true that it has no relationship to the greater sac because the greater momentum it communicates with the laser sac thank you all.